This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Some people call me... Today, reacting to the Rise of Skywalker trailer, and it's the final one. Been waiting a little while for this, and let's jump right into it. Here's the reaction. It's an instinct. Feeling the force brought you together. We're not alone. Good people will fight if we lead them. People keep telling me they know me. No one does. What are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir. At my friends. Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. Your destiny. Alright, so I will say I did feel something, like as far as like how I feel about The Last Jedi and disliking The Force Awakens, I did get emotion out of that trailer, whereas the first ones I got pretty much no emotion, and from The Force Awakens, Last Jedi, I got like very little emotion, just a couple of parts, like mostly when Luke was in the Falcon with R2, but that was a much better trailer. We'll see how the whole movie turns out, obviously I'm very very skeptical about, you know, how it is and everything, but the trailer looked decent, I'm not gonna lie, the trailer looked decent, I didn't see anything cringy, nothing I didn't like, and an interesting thing is, like, Finn's running towards Kylo and Rey where they're fighting, and he's like, looks like he's a terrible look in his face, so is it possible Kylo beats Rey? You know, to make this movie good for me, I'm on the side of disliking Disney Star Wars, there's gonna have to be something I'm really not expecting. And what I'm not expecting is Ray to get beat. Real failure. One of our old heroes to actually do something important. Like Han and Luke and Leia don't really do anything important. In the other movies, the older movies, The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. And uh, the thing is this. Lando seemed like he was a leader. Seems like he was giving a speech, how people will follow, what he learned from his experiences with Bespin, with running a city, things like that. So... Hopefully, you know, we're going to get, well, we are going to get a better movie than The Last Jedi. We'll see. I'm not going to, you know, say it's over till it's over till it's over. I know a lot of you guys are saying it's over no matter what. And you're probably right. You're probably right. I'm going to give you like 95% right. But I'm still going to hold on to hopes until we see the final product. And I believe that J.J. at least wanted to correct some things that Ryan Johnson kind of messed up. Whether you believe it's really good or not, you have to admit half the fan base at least is pretty disgruntled and very annoyed. Whether you don't like the comments or not about trolls, man babies, people, haters and things, you gotta admit they're out there and it's a large percentage. So like it or not, half the fan base is pretty much uh, very, very skeptical at best. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. No shout out now. I'm just like in my hallway here because 
I got like 15 minutes to do this and smash the subscribe button if you're new, press it, click it, whatever you gotta do to get subscribed and I will see you next time. If you are not subscribed to this channel, The Entertainment Hacker, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now.